Bundy's Garage, John Bundy here. Today we're working on a 2005 Acura RSX Type S. We're going to be doing the uh, spark plugs. First thing I do is take this cover off. There's two 10 millimeter bolts here that hold it in. So that just pops off. I already took those out. <coughs> Place that aside. And then there's four 10 millimeter bolts that hold this cover on here. And that's where your spark plugs sit. This is a throttle cable. There's a 10 millimeter bolt that sits in here as well. This is what it looks like. I just moved it, <clears throat> disconnected that, got the bolt out of the way so I can move the wire, make access to, uh, to the spark plugs. Take that cover, get that out of the way. All right, here you, go. you have your four coil packs. The co coil, pack, coil packs are where the spark plugs sit, so uh, this is a pretty basic standard Honda stuff here. You just have the uh, connector here. Right here on this side, there's a push pin. You just push that in. And that releases the connector from the coil pack from the coil pack. So just get all those out of the way. And then right here you have <clears throat> 10 millimeter bolts to hold the coil coil. Can't talk today. I'm just gonna start calling them packs. The packs in place. Just know that they're uh, coil packs. Coil, coil, toy boat, toy boat. I can't talk. Stay up too late. Uh, right here, these two stems are what holds the upper black cover on. So, uh, looks like you just need to get a, a deep 10 millimeter, get that out. I'll get those out of the way and then we'll uh, pull the spark plugs. After you take out <clears throat> all the packs, take a look at the end. These all seem to be clear, but if you see oil down at the bottom, then there, you have a, possibly an oil leak in the valve cover. Um, but these are all good. There's no oil on any of them that I can tell. They, seem, they, look, they all look in really good shape. Not bad for 90,000 miles. All right, I got this. Uh, it's a 5 8 uh, socket you need, but I got this. This is actually permanently connected to this extension. I picked this up from AutoZone. I don't, I don't remember how much it was. I had a long, long time ago. Go ahead and start getting all the spark plugs out. It's best to do this on a cold engine. I'm just going to do it by hand and just start working them out. Doesn't look too bad, it's a little worn. There's no oil on it, so that's a good sign. The cylinders seem to be good. If you had a misfire issue or a blown head gasket, this thing would be covered in fluid. Or the pistons, I mean the rings on the pistons were worn. They were sucking up oil. They would be wet. Here's the new NGK spark plugs. As you can as you can see, the tip right there is uh, in a lot better shape than old ones. Uh, the old ones were not bad at all. It just looked like you know common wear and tear after 90,000 miles. But these are new uh, NG NGK platinums. I'm sorry, they're iridiums, right? Yeah, I think they're NGK iridiums. Yep. Pack of four from O'Reilly. About 10 bucks each. Now, how do I get these in? I, get, I use a 3 8 piece of hosing. It's about, I don't know what, five, four and a half inches long. And I'll go ahead and I'll stick uh, the new spark plug down, the ceramics part down, and then start. Um, once that's down in the hole, I'll start the spark plug that way because you really don't want to start these. Um, I've seen guys at the dealership starting with an air ratchet, and yeah, they got it right, probably because they've been doing it for so long, but um, you run the risk of cross-threading cross these things down inside the block. If you do that, um, you're pretty much screwed. So uh, that's why I use the hose. Just, uh, you know, the added level of protection. <clears throat> Another thing I like to do is I'll take some oil and I'll put it on the threads before I put it in. Just to make it that much more easy to go down into the cylinder. 
go ahead and rub that around. And then once you get this down in here, you can actually feel when it grabs hold. And then once they're all started, I'll go ahead and finish them all up with uh, with the extension in the 5 8 5 8 socket. So that one's done. So I'll just go ahead and go through all of them and install them, install them this way. Where's the extension with the 5 8 socket go, Chuck? Right there. Goof. Ha <laughs> ha! Right here. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. Okay, now <clears throat> they're all they're all started and in place. To tighten these things down, you just want to um, basically you're going to feel uh, when it gets tight, and you're about a quarter turn after that. You don't want to torque these things down too much. There are torque specs for these, but <clears throat> this I've always done it. It's always worked for me. So you're going to feel when the um, there's a crush washer on there. You're going to feel when it crushes, and go just a quarter turn past that. Okay. All right, just crushed. That one's done. Okay. Okay. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do to tighten these things down. Like I said, you do not want to over torque these things because you're putting it into an aluminum block and you can strip these out. Okay, now put the coil packs, coil, I can, can I say it, can I say it, coil, coil, coil packs. Before I put the packs back down, I'm gonna put some dielectric grease on the ends. Just helps uh, with uh, the conduction of electricity between the pack and the, and the spark plug. As you can see, this one, this can got busted. So I just gotta stick my finger down there and uh, dig it out. Otherwise, it looks like a cheese, uh, cheese whiz bottle. <clears throat> so all you gotta do is take it, just put a little bit right inside there and you're done. Okay, those are all back in place. Now go ahead and put your 10 millimeter bolts back in. Just line those up. Go ahead and start all those by hand and run them down the socket and I'll tighten them up with a wrench. Okay, then go ahead and reconnect all the connectors to the packs the coil packs. I said it right. Okay, just double check it here a click. Just push on the on on the connector to make sure they're in place. Alright, then you have to put this cover back on, put this bolt back on, and put this cover on. But um, I actually want him to fire it up. So go ahead and fire it up Chuck. Make sure it's good. It's a good time to fire it up before you uh, put the covers back on just to make sure everything's good to go and that you have no misfires. Make sure you don't have a check engine light on and uh, hope this video is helpful. If you guys like my videos, please subscribe, make a comment, question, concern, and like always, uh, I'll keep them rolling for you.